After 13 years of firefighting, I've never seen a room go to 100% visibility right after I put the fire out. <laughs> Wait, are you guys using those magic vent fans? Listen carefully, listen for a cry. It's hard to hear over everything. Ah, listen and rescue, the less effective, lazier version of search and rescue. I mean, why go searching when you can go calling? You know those masks are there to keep you alive, right? I mean, you don't have to take them off to listen better. I mean, unless you want to become a victim, because if so, you're going to be there real soon. He's in here. You got to scream louder. She's probably hypoxic from the smoke. Jeez. Fire's hungry on the Delta side. We had a flare up. All right, time to make a heat hole. Alpha Bravo corner. Bishop, start cutting. Hey, Cap, so the fire is on the Delta side of the building, and you want to cut the heat hole on the Alpha Bravo side? And that leads me to one very quick question. Do you have any clue how fire works? Bro, what would have let you do this trip? Yep. How are those lights, Warren? What did you just do with those chainsaws? Wait, are we in a musical right now? <laughs> We're cutting a hole in a roof. Captain, report your status. Do you copy? Yes, Chief, I copy. I'm here. Then what is your status? Chief, our status is arguing a heat hole versus a strip cut and then cutting an inspection hole because we don't actually understand what any of those things are. <laughs> Show me what you made of. Nice heat hole, Cap. Where's the other six feet? How much do you think this roof's got? Five, screw one. Six inches? Yeah, yeah, about that. I'd say it'll be a nearly full collapse in 30 seconds, give or take. Well, if your ability to predict an imminent roof collapse is anywhere near your ability to properly vent a roof, I'd say we're going to be good up here for another three to six months. Try to catch me howling at the moon. What the crap was that? Wait, are we in a musical right now? We're cutting a hole in a roof. Yeah.